If you ask Trishana da Costa what was life like two years ago, she'd tell you everything was going well. A successful insurance representative, top employee almost every month, and a mother. She had all she wanted. But in 2019, her life took a turn for the worse. One day while taking a shower, Trishana felt a lump in her breast. She thought it was cancerous. But after doing an ultrasound, she was relieved when the results revealed the tumor was benign. Wanting to get it removed, she started to save for surgery. But while in the process of doing so, she got ill. A visit to another doctor revealed that not only was the tumor cancerous, but it had spread to her bones. In complete shock, her first reaction was to laugh. And I wasn't laughing because it was funny. I laughed because I was like, all right, this is a challenge. I'm going to take it on and I'm going to win. That was my initial thought, but I was very ignorant to what cancer is. Ignorant to the point where she stopped going to the doctor and tried to treat herself the natural way. That decision saw the cancer spreading to her brain and lungs. I was having too many persons in my ear telling me, this is where you're going to fix it. Now, Chishana is taking her medication and started chemotherapy. She also continued to work. I was admitted in the hospital for about three months. And while I was admitted in the hospital, can you believe I was still employee of the month? Because while I was in my hospital bed, I was not giving up. However, Trishana had to stop working as she became seriously ill. Depressed, she sought ways that she could take her mind off the pain and her fate. My friends kept asking me what I wanted to do for my birthday or what I want as a gift. And I just, in the back of my head, I said paint. You know, just throw some paint on the canvas and just. Pour up my emotions. An escape which unleashed an unknown talent. When I'm painting, I'm thinking of what to do next in the art and not what's happening around me or inside of me. But what started out as a hobby turned into something lucrative. After she posted a few copies of her work online, every piece sentimental. If I should die, somebody has. A part of me in their living room that they can look at and smile at it and say, wow, you know, Shoshana did this painting and it reminds me of her. Along with her art, the support she gets from friends, family, and even strangers is another reason to keep fighting. If they're fighting for me, why shouldn't I fight for them? But even though doctors gave her until the end of this year, She's optimistic. I feel as if I have many, 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 many more years to come. With a ray of hope, I'm Kayan Morgan.